Catfished. She thinks he's cheating, and he still has a dating app profile. But the question is, can Cat catch, catch him? Catfished with Cat Fisher and Kiki Love. All right, Cat, episode number nine, Catfish. Let's bring a bit. Who do we got now? Shelly and Zach. So Shelly has already caught Zach cheating mm-hmm. a while ago, and they got over it. She forgave him, but now she thinks that he's cheating again. Shelly, what up, sis? So last summer, I found out that he cheated on me, that he had a Tinder account. I mean, it took a really long time, but he he deleted it, and he promised that it was never going to happen again. Like, he changed all of his passwords so that I could look at his phone whenever I wanted to, and it was amazing. And then, like, he started acting weird again. Now he changed all of his passwords again, and he said, well, don't I deserve your trust anymore? Like, I haven't done anything, and I still don't trust him. And I know that he made a mistake, but I feel like he's going to make another mistake, and I don't... But Shelly, I just had this question with girls. One, number one, why was it a mistake? And two, why did you give him another chance? I mean, it was a mistake because we were both working a lot. And he just felt like I wasn't really into the relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. And, like, I get it. It could have been my fault. But every time that we're together, he, like, puts his phone face down and, like, he'll get a bunch of texts, but he'll be like, oh, it's just work stuff. Don't even worry. I'm just going to ignore it. And I don't know. I just, yeah. I, I feel like something might be happening, but I don't know. So, so Kat, you, you went undercover. Mm-hmm. What did you find out about, uh, about Zach? Well, normally, if a guy has cheated before. Mm, here we go. And then you stay with him, he feels like he can cheat again. Because he thinks that even if he doesn't get away with it, that you'll take him back. And your suspicions were right, Shelly. He is back on Tinder. Yeah. Well, not- I mean, like, is he is he on Tinder, but he's not messaging anyone? Or, like, is he on Tinder? Well, I don't know about anybody else, but he's definitely been trying to hang out. Oh, my God. So how, how, how long have you guys been talking? We've been talking for a little bit less than a week. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's been really actively trying to set up a date to get together and meet. So like he, so I've never been on Tinder cat guys that you meet on Tinder. Is Mm -hmm. this like, um, DTF? Like it depends on the situation. Like you could be on Tinder for whatever reason you want to be, but he doesn't really seem like he's trying to have a ton of conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's trying to get to know me. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to like set up a a meeting to like hang out. So he said it was a mistake and I believed him and if he's going to do it again the second time it isn't a mistake this is <sighs> so Kat let's get him on the phone okay okay hey Ashley how's it going hey I'm good Zach uh, I'm glad that you answered what are you doing uh, you know just out and about so uh, and it's actually kind of cool that you uh, called I was actually seeing if you were free this week yeah, I'm free. I'm free later in the week. Um, normally, weeknights are kind of hard for me. I wake up early, um, but I don't know. It would be maybe I would make an exception to have a a night out on a weeknight with you. Oh, definitely. Then, yeah. No, I was thinking like some, whenever you're free, obviously, um, maybe go out, get a quick drink or dinner. Okay. Or maybe have a drink at my place. Yeah. That sounds great. Um, I can't really tell from your profile or really like the the text that we've had so far. Um, but what kind of what what are you on Tinder for? Like, what are you looking for? I'm not really down for anything serious at the moment. So uh, just and I was kind of hoping you were in the same boat. Yeah, I mean that's that's cool with me. I'm busy too, and I work a lot. So um, yeah, I mean if we if we vibe when we meet, then then maybe that would be something fun. Oh, absolutely. What do you do for fun? What are your hobbies? Uh, My hobbies are pretty much like surfing and skydiving, (laughs) uh, massaging, stuff like that. (laughs) Those are some big hobbies. I like to keep my mind pretty broad. Massaging is your hobby? Like giving massages? No, I uh, I like to give massages. People say I'm pretty good at it. Okay, maybe I'll have to find out for myself. Oh, absolutely. You'll enjoy the massages I give you. Trust me. (laughs) I'm excited to see you this week. 
Oh, me too. I can't wait to show you my hands. <laughs> so, Zach, at what point were you planning on breaking up with Shelly? Wait, say that again? What point were you planning on breaking up with your girlfriend, Shelly? Because didn't you, didn't you already get caught cheating on her and you, like, begged for her back? And she actually uh, gave you another chance, but then it looks like you're back on Tinder and cheating again. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Shelly's actually on the other line. Um, this whole thing has been a setup. This is not Ashley that you think you met on Tinder. This is Kat Fisher and Kiki Love from Kiss FM. This whole thing was a setup, and your girlfriend has been listening to this whole thing. You've been catfished. Oh, uh, Zach, what are you... Seriously? Again? I, what it's not what it you? looks like. Oh, it's not what it I just listened to you set up a date where you said that you weren't looking for a relationship. You were just looking to hook up. How is that not what it looks like? It... I mean, I can't believe you would set me up like this. Seriously? You can't believe that I would do this to you? You cheated on me. We've come so far since last year. We've... Those massage oils? I bought you because you said that you wanted to give me more massages. You're using them with other girls? How many girls are you cheating on me with? Zach, like you can't you can't really flip this around on her. You just got caught on Tinder. She just heard you trying to hook up with somebody. And you no, but this is exactly the problem. She never freaking trusted me. I was trying really hard to make this relationship work. And she never got over my one mistake. The one thing. And she's been crazy ever since. So why would so you why miss- not do what she's accusing me of? That is the worst explanation ever. So because I'm afraid that you're going to cheat on me, you decide to go out and cheat on me. This is all my There's fault no... because I refuse to trust you after you cheated on me. It's enough to drive anybody crazy. I don't think I'm alone that any other guy would do this stuff. Well, too. it's funny you miss, it's funny you miss that, Jack, Zach, because I'm Kiki Love and I am a guy. When you go on Tinder, you're conspiring to basically cheat there's women listening right now, and they always wish that you would just be honest with them. Why not just get out of it? If she's so crazy, why not just say, hey, I don't want to do this anymore? Well, because like I said, I still care about her, but after this, clearly I'm not going to make the effort anymore. I'm just going to end it. What am I going to tell everyone? All of my friends have been saying, he's just going to do it again. Don't take him back. He's just going to do it again. And I said, no, he's not going to. Our love is better than that, and it, it isn't. I can't oh, believe there's, you. Yeah, there's more evidence. You listen to your friends instead of couldn't believe in me and push me into this. It's her fault. Zach, how would you feel if she was on Tinder? Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to be the bad guy in this no matter what, so it's fine. You are. I got plenty. You say all the girls are listening. It's fine. I've got more girls on Tinder. Doesn't matter to me. Whatever. Zach. Another successful catfish. Hear it again anytime with our free app. Kiss FM Boise in your app store.